the sounds of the subway are insane. And like, if you record when the train shows up, some of the trains are super screechy. And if you drop that like two octaves, it's terrifying. Actually, the first and last sound on the entire record that you hear is uh, the Grand Street BD station with the guy who plays, I wish I knew what it was called, the really screechy kind of violin-esque thing. That's that guy going at it. I play the band Parade for Earth. It's always been a band, but it's kind of like a record at home by myself project. Like you're looking at, this is it. Like it's an interface and then pedals and a couple guitars and mics. Just make really fleshed out demos and things and then, you know, I show the rest of the band and so we just kind of figure out how to play it. <laughs> they're all busy musicians in their own right, but they're, you know, they trust me. I'm really lucky in that way that the band is, wants to work that way. Chris plays bass. We've been playing together in the, like since high school. <laughs> we played the Battle of the Bands, and that was my first show with Chris. When I first got a guitar, I, like I loved Metallica, and I just like come in and rip solos in the middle of the songs. And they were like, "Yeah, man, that's cool. Like, it's cool you can play like that, but not so much, maybe." I'm like, "All right, but I'm telling you, people are gonna respond to that." I didn't know what I was talking about, but I just wanted to rip solos. Jessica and Christy Joe Zambri, they do a lot of vocals on the record. Jessica, you know, we have our just daily life together, but it's really easy. The music stuff just overlaps, and it's, it's really awesome to be able to share that. Sometimes you just tune out, and I'm, I'm just like going and going, and then I'm like, oh wait, there's way too much shit in here to play. When I did this new record, I really wanted it to sound pretty massive in the end. I'd love everything to be huge and just like lumbering. And I knew that it was almost definite that we were gonna mix it with Chris Cody. And I knew that he could just like slam my tracks, you know, pull out all the, the muck. So it wasn't like this big ball of <laughs> coming at you. There's so much that just every day like makes me feel a certain way where I'm, what a, a certain mood I'm in will be set by like the weather outside or where I am and then I'll get this really, maybe this sounds ridiculous, but kind of like silvery blue haze in my head and then I'm like, that is the feeling, I can't, I can't describe it, but that's the feeling that I want a song to sound like.